no one else in the uh, at, at the table. And but that's also the reason why I don't like it is that um, when I go to use it, I feel less inclined to use it if there's someone already sitting at the table because I'm like, well, I'm I'm already I'm like inc encroaching on your space. I don't want to do that. So, yeah. How do you make the decision like when you go to the library and you're like, where should I go? Should I go up or should I go down? Like, what's the, what's going on in your mind? It depends. Honestly, it's like I think uh, this is not a place where I, I go first. This is a place I go when I'm like, okay, clearly I need some more, like, computer space. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Okay. Um, is, um, is there any more backstory that, or actually when you said it related to something that needs to change. I think, honestly, what was that about? so I think the original intent of this kind of, um, workspace is to share screens with multiple people working on a project, and I think it's turned into just people using it for extra screen space. Um, and I think I would be more inclined to use it if, it if there was just like the availability for individual use. Because, I'm, like I said, I'm less inclined to use it when there's another person there. Or, uh, and, and even then, I've used it like maybe once or twice, and, but I, I, like, I just loved it immediately. Um, but with, with this, if, if, if I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm taking this away from a group that might need to use it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So if something could change, would the change be that there would be some of those available at individual work? Stations? Yeah, I think, I think so. what I would love to see change with this, maybe not like break these tables apart because they are useful for groups, but to have that, that individual availability. That's, that seems to be a tension down in the learning commons is that there are all these cool resources yeah, but it's just... that are targeted for group study. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and people that's... also want to use them individually, and then it, you know either they feel uncomfortable doing that or yep. people get mad at them for doing yeah. it. Yeah, it's... Have you had that experience, Ryan? Um, well, with me, my st especially my study habits are that I usually. I, unless it's like with, with um for a certain kind of cl for a certain class that I'm taking, I usually tend to like to do stuff a lot on my own and by myself, especially. And with me, it's because then again, this is also because of my personality. I'm a very introverted person. I don't like be I I prefer to like to be to be like by myself and, and like not have like so like I'm done learning comments or so can just that I prefer not to have like that. It feels like an enclosed space to me because of so many people around like. I know they're doing their own thing, but just it still feels like really enclosed to me down there. Mm. Are there are there resources or places that you would use in the Learning Commons if it wasn't so crowded? There are definitely a, quite a few ones. I mean, computers I I I managed to to use even without people without um even with there are other people there because we're all like minding our own stuff. But the other things I like to use like um especially for um one of the one of the areas I'm trying. Trying to think of now, now especially like the the part that's like right next to where the computers are, I'd be more inclined to use those. But it always seems like that people are ju they just tend to hog up space more than anything else because not only do they have their laptop, but then they have their bag and everything else just all spread out over the. Are you talking about when you come down the stairs? Yeah. Right the laptop, yeah. The laptop tables. Yeah, the laptop tables. Yeah, it's it's kind of it kind of is like. Oh, man, this helps you. Oh yeah, yeah, that might be a lot better. Yeah, that's what you see it. yeah. So let me see. We got the. Yep. It's like around. I don't know if you. Can, I don't know how you can fucking see, but like in this yeah. area where the laptop tables are and stuff like that. Yeah. It, it can get to be, especially when I go down there, like during like, like around peak rush hour times. It kind of seems like it becomes really enclosed with all the people like around. And I mean, I know everybody's just minding their own business, but still, to me, it's. It's just the way I, I've always been like when it comes to studying and stuff. Yeah. Um, the other thing that, uh, yeah, some of these places I, I'm not even too familiar like what they do with because I, I did get, I did like back during when we had like orientation weekend, that first weekend here, we, I did take a tour of the library, but there are some of these things that I, that I still haven't gone to yet and I feel like I don't have any need to go to them like the, uh, Let's see the assistive technology center because like nothing in my, nothing that I'm doing course wise really requires any of that stuff. So 
I feel like the only reason I, need, I would need to be in there is if I'm doing something that requires it. And it even says on there, unless you have something, it even says like on some of those, unless you have something to do, please don't come in. Oh. Yeah. True. So there are some areas that are like that down there. And to me, that's just kind of, okay. that to me, and I hate to say it, but it feel, kind of feels like, um, I think they're coming off on, about the wrong way on how they present these places to others because... I think it's the assistive technology center that's that's saying like unless you have a certain reason to be in there, please use the ones outside. I still think that people want like a quieter place. They should still be able to go into there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if like some people get priority over that or not, but I think it's yeah. yeah I'll have to double check on that, but but yeah, mm -hmm. it seems to me like they say that there's there are some people that there are certain people who get more priority over that than others and stuff. I mean, I guess I can understand, but still, I think it should still be open to everybody to use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe... Shall we next? move to the next uh, picture? Yeah. Yep. I, I just wanted to say something while we're doing this. Christopher, I, I guessed on where your pictures would yeah. go, so I don't want my assumptions or my guesses to, like, make, like, to, I don't want you to think that you have to, like, try to interpret this picture in a way that you didn't intend it. Yeah. So if you if no, need to change its theme, then we can totally do that easily. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this actually follows. Uh, like, like I said, most most of my pictures were kind of like crossed. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, this one, I think I intended it to be um, why I come to the library. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also uh, one of my favorite places of the library. Because yeah. I'm in the marching band. Um, oh. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is, the, this is uh, this, like, I did it my way, is, like, our theme, Power in Class, is the, um, the name of the marching band, basically, and Mr. Parks was our former director of the marching band uh, that passed away uh, five years ago. Um, so, the reason I took this picture was because um, just having something like this means that the library, it, it's kind of just a place, for, uh, a place for everyone, um, that the, it's... Can you, excuse me, can you yeah. just tell us where this is? It looks like a staircase. Yeah, it's in between the second and third floor. Mm -hmm. I don't remember which side, but, um, okay. yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, but it's in the staircase. Um, but what I like about the fact that we can do murals in the library is that, like, it's showing uniqueness of different things about campus. Mm -hmm. Um... And there are some things I've looked and I'm like, okay, that has nothing to do with UMass. Um, <laughs> or, like, any student organizations at UMass. Um, but... So, but what I like is that organizations can do m these kind of murals. I mean, of course, appropriate uh, appropriate murals. Mm -hmm. um, but like, it kind of just yep. shows that we're, as a university and as a library, we're accepting as everyone. Like this is a, this this building, this university is a place for everyone and is able to express themselves in a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. That's important. Do you feel like you use the stairs more because of that? Yes. Like, do you oh, always yeah. take the stairs because you want to see that? <laughs> do you want to look at that? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, it's, especially being on the fifth floor, uh, like I usually take the elevator yeah. up and then the stairs down, but I always take the stairs down to look at this. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just, for me, especially with like, um, I've noticed a lot of things with marching band, you're like very sentimental, and like this is one of those very sentimental things. Um, uh, and it's just like, this is a part of like university history and we're showing it through a mural in the library mm -hmm. um and and it's just like a, a, a nice peaceful thing for me at least yeah. and i know for many members of the marching band mm -hmm. yeah. so i i had a question to follow up um you said it's it's neat because it kind of demonstrates how this is a space that everybody can use and make it their own sort of thing and i'm, I'm wondering if there are other spaces in the library that that are like that, that everybody can and can use and make their own in that way. If, you, if there's any other spaces. Let me see, because, again, sixth floor is pretty much like, again, I think, well, at least to me, I make it my own just with the way I can use it and stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I think that's the whole point of the library, is that like, yeah. when you go, you're going to make it your own space. Yes, yeah, Like, somehow. temporarily, of course. Yeah. Um, write your name this is my space no, no. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, but when when you go like at least there's really none of none of the facilities that the library has does not promote that idea I, I, 
I use too many negatives to the point where I confuse myself. <laughs> when you go to the library, you are going to be um, <laughs> making your own space, and like you're not adhering to someone else's like study space or whatnot. Like there, there's accommodations for everybody. They'll be happy to know that you think that way. <laughs> no, I just having like a thought rolling in my mind. Like, would you say that these murals encourage you, encourage the the users to feel like the library is not only a library; it's also a place when you, where you can explore more about yourself, not just Definitely. going for books. I would agree with that. Yeah. I mean, it's not. I have seen quite a few different ones of the murals, and they're really good. To me, I, well, I don't necessarily connect with that one. There, there's another one, I mean, because I'm over in it all the time, and I, and I told, and I, t I forget who I told, which one you I told this to, but um, between the library and Moral are actually the main two buildings I end up going to, and then Moral, Moral also, as you're going up, it's the staircase that's next to where you enter into Moral 2, and there's a staircase right next to it that's based off science stuff, and again, Moral is a science building, and that's like really what I'm into. Again, the the murals just seeing like what they're dead like like to me the murals on there also that it could also be here in the library too. What some of the people are dedicated to, what they want, what they have that is their life's passion. Moral shows that clearly to me because the way that they have it, it's all like biology, all those ones and whatnot. So that to me is that actually really connects with me because again, it's my passion for working with animals and it shows exactly how that works. The murals are. I think on the library the same thing. It shows the passions that people have, shows what they've been through, all that stuff. Um, I also just want to add to why I like this is because um, I'm very good friends with the person that painted it, and I was like being oh, being in Western Mass, like she painted this over a summer, and I would wow. like stop in and watch her like actually paint it and whatnot. So it it just adds to the reason why I really like it. Yeah. Was it painted while you were a student? Mm -hmm. And it was painted in 2012. Wow, nice. Yeah. So the fact that it's student generated, yeah. or it makes mm -hmm. it extra special. Exactly, yeah. It's kind of showing what, well, it, it's like many things. It's like showing what our students can do here. Yep. It's showing that like we can personalize um, the library to, to like reflect like our exactly. university. Mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Are we ready to go to the yeah. next one? Yep. Anything else? All right. <laughs> 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 this needs to change, yep. Yeah. Okay, so one of the biggest pet peeves I have with libraries is that, especially, especially, I mean, I know that some of the different floors are more dedicated to a certain, like, um, kind of thing than the other one. I think this one, it was mentioned before, yeah, too small, way too small. There is not, to me, it's, it doesn't, there's not enough diversity in the books that they have here. For, well, I guess per, per, for me personally, anyways, there's not enough diversity. Then again, I, I love reading books all the time. If I could, if I could help it, I'd like read all, any of these kinds. They don't have, to me, it just seems like it's too small and it's not noticed very well. I think if more students could somehow notice it a lot better. Because so I mean, Ryan, are you looking for space where like you can kind of browse. Exactly, that's what I want, that's what I'm, and in all honesty, I've been having that problem because I'm trying to figure out like which floor, because I've been up to like the 21st and a few other, a few other different floors, I've been trying to find stuff where you can just browse and see all sorts, but the stacks, they're just dedicated to one specific thing, there's like no general reading kind of books around, and that's, yeah. that's one of the biggest problems I have with this library. How often do you take out books? I try and take out books like maybe what... Well, depending on like what my course loads and I had before that, like maybe once or twice a month if I can help it, because mm -hmm. again, I got to deal with coursework as well. But right. yeah, and it, and unfortunately, I also had a problem trying to find one other book, and I actually had to go. F it was here, but I actually had to go and reserve it because I couldn't find it at all. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you How did you manage to find it? Did you talk to someone? I talked to someone about um, like where it would be located, and they showed me like what where it would be, but. Even when I went to look up and find it, I couldn't find it. So what I just did was I put it on reserve, and then I got the email that they had they had it for me. So it, that was one of my bigger annoyances that I had with with.